Team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the New Mexico State Aggies and the Michigan Wolverines. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Wolverines are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, take care of the rock. No turnovers, baby. Turnovers only lead to easy scores the other way. Thirdly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Or two. I done a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He up fakes. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. to pack it inside and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot takes care of the ball until the offense resets here's the offensive drop step and a low block but better defense i tell you the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline unbelievable look at that post position he can't get a piece of that baby The elbow they feed down to the low block working it around the perimeter fed the low block there they come with a double team to stop it well the defender goes down but there's no call either way wow no call right there i think that was a good call though by the official Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Inside, number 15 receives the pass. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Stolen away. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. The Wolverines have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? He takes the shot off the baseline. That's good. Inside. He makes a nice shot fake. And now they'll bring it up. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Great anticipation. That's great court savvy to get in the way of that pass. Looking for a screen on top and got it. And in and out. Goes up for two. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It will be interesting to see if he can keep this up. From downtown, way off target. He'll regroup the offense. The center receives the ball, tries for two, doesn't go. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? The point guard handles the pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The power forward handles the feed. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That was nice. Move 
Moving it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Can't get the shot to drop. He shoots from left of the circle. He's money with the shot. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. In the post, our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Bucket, and he missed. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Both teams looking to get things going here. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, easy one. The shot from the baseline. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. And he scores despite the hack. Tries for two. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. The skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. Number 15 draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? You talk about strong recruiting classes, Dick. How about Michigan's in 91? Hey, no kidding, Brad. Also known as the Fab Five. That team and those players were remarkable. Second one is no good. Goes and gets it. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. up the tray. He doesn't get the hoop. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. A high screen. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For two, in and out. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. 
And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He shoots from the top of the circle. Number 15 buries the tray. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. High post screen. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 20. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the free one. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. You talk about strong recruiting classes, Dick. How about Michigan's in 91? Hey, no kidding, Brad. Also known as the Fab Five. That team and those players were remarkable. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Both teams looking to get things going here. Uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Entry pass in the paint. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He shoots from long range. Way off target. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. New Mexico State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop, no doubt, Mr. Nestler. Number one is emotionally fired up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. We're Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. For 
two. Perfectly executed. Good job, defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they had it stolen away. One too many dribbles. Jumps in. Doesn't go. This defense really showed that they're not afraid to get physical. Hey, they're making them sweat on offense by taking chances, Brad. They work it around the arc, work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. Off the rim and no good. He'll kick it back outside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Gave it up. Tries to get the D to bite. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. Now the high screen. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. He was unlucky on an inside shot off the screen. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top. Control of the ball. And in and out. Dick, they're giving this offense absolutely no good shots. Because they're keeping their feet moving and their hands waving, Brad. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. High post flashes for the opportunity. to the circle, way off target. On the outside, they've left him completely alone. Off the rim and no good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Trying to draw some contact. Number one with a finger roll. He's going nowhere. Ball well, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Can't get the shot to go. Got an open look if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. the dribble gives it up fakes the jumper here he is defensively and this is going to be an academy award dick absolutely academy award at its best he's been making some great plays but taunting this crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention Brad, the players are feeling it and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it From the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. New Mexico State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. Looking for a good shot. Good job defensively. Got numbers right here. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. 
Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's given the offense the blues. He takes the shot from the baseline. Knocks it down. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. Two, and he missed. He shoots from left of the circle, way off target. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Pump them up, then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, "Show me some love. I'm working my tail off here." Side. Gave it up for the bucket and in and out. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more men. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Gets a hand in the way. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. perimeter trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing top of the circle he forces another bad shot that is not how you win ball games mr nestler took that screen away he shoots from the angle off the rim and no good the lane the dribble gives it up isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper can't get it to go they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot and the ball goes out of play Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. For two, can't get the shot to go. He strokes it way off target. At halftime, the Wolverines are trailing by 14. Nick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? Check out some of the inside play. We win this in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. Number 34 has played a good game so far, I think, Dick. Well, you know, Brad, it might not be good enough for them tonight. Just look at the score. Be the star player of the team. He needs to take charge and come out firing in the second half. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. They still don't score. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. This zone is working miracles on defense tonight, Dick. Hey, they've been active and they've taken everything away. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it go. Oh, he got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo.
intercepted. On the outside, he unloads a three, drains the shot. That's a seven nothing run. He tries to knock down the three. He makes the shot. Picks off the pass. Number 34 is receiving a lot of support from the fans. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. The shooting guard takes the feed. Way off target. Top of the circle. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Working it around the perimeter. The small forward with the ball. And he missed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The shooting guard gets the ball. Number 32 with the foul. Second personal foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He sinks both of them. Tries for two, and in and out. Looking for a good shot. The small forward takes the pass. He shoots from right of the circle. That's seven unanswered. Dick, how's he working him defensively? But there's try to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. post screen so effective that screen picked off gave it up the point guard gets the pass for two I love the sky hook especially when you get great post position on the interior Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There was no doubt about that one. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. There's a high screen. In and out. He gives him the fake. Pump fakes. Here's a double team. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby! Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. And the 
ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. That just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. And a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 34 with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Goes for the deep one. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. On the dribble, gives it up. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. around the arc from beyond the arc way off target here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer great defense puts it up looking for contact for the deuce up and in the Aggies lead by 14. Gave it up. Top of the circle. He comes up empty. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J.
He throws up the shot. He drains it. The Wolverines are down by 16. Here's a spin down in the low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Nice shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Hey, Brad, this youngster is showing how to put the clamp on a player defensively. Spectacular defensive effort. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Number and a chance for a three-point play. The old-fashioned way, as we say. Free throw line. Got it. Takes the pass in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He comes away with it. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Number 20. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. Goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. The Aggies are ahead by 13. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. From three point territory. Goes. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Shots there if he wants it. Shoots it. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. He shoots from right of the circle. It's good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fakes the shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Up and inside. They work it around the perimeter. He launches a three. Rims out. Top of the key. 
Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He goes to the line for the first time. First one is good. Second shot, no good. Grabs the board. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Takes away the pass. Perfectly executed. The Wolverines are behind by 11. On the outside, Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two. They still don't score. From the top of the key, rims out. On the outside. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Good. Gave it up. He intercepts it. Wide open for the shot. High post flashes for the ball handler. From three-point land. He gets the shot to fall. In the paint. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses the bomb. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from downtown. He nails the shot. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing off is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Here's a flash from the high post. He rejects it. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Up and inside. He unloads a three. Makes the shot. Here's a spin down to the low and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Fast break possibility coming. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Number 24 is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Misses the second. Brings it down. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Try to come up with a steal, and they do.
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The lead is nine. Nine is fine, Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. He fires it up. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Defense giving some room. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Looking for a good shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Moving it around the perimeter. Got a wide open look. This is the big time. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip into this lead before it's too late. about ready to resume. The kick out. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock. Dick. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Wow, man, that stops the clock again. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Number 12 to the line for the one and one. Good. Second shot is no good. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. That's good. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Aggies are now in the bonus. Number 21 goes to the charity line. Sinks it. Second shot is good. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Cross court. Cross court. Steals the pass. Launches a prayer. The ball goes out of play. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's thrown salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I... Feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, win this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. New Mexico State is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.